GMA7 has released the teaser trailer for their upcoming teleserie called Maria Clara at Ibarra, starring Julie Ann San Jose and Dennis Trillo. The teleserie is about Clay, a Gen Z nursing student who got easy kite into Noli Metangere, an 1887 novel written by Jose Rizal, a Filipino polymath. Again, although I'm a fucking amateur in terms of Spanish-era Filipino culture, I'll analyze a teaser trailer based on my knowledge as well as the general vibe-checking of the teleserie. For disclaimer, I am just a casual culture enthusiast slash researcher, though Spanish-era Philippines is kinda one of my interests. So don't expect some analysis on this thing. Let's get started. Live in the mind. The newspaper looks crap. At least make it more realistic and not just like a bunch of wet bond papers. Okay, great ridiculous start. Apat nga po. The dresses look accurate. They got the right silhouette for the Traje de Mestiza at the right decade, though the novel was published on the late 19th century, so the dresses could have deviated towards the bell shaped sleeves. <laughs> The hair, yes, looks accurate. The hair is full during this period. Though, Maria Clara's hair looks unnecessarily full. Hindi ko si maintindihan kung paano makakatulong sa akin maging skillful sa pagdadress ng wounds at sa pagkakabit ng IV sa isang pasyente like a pro ang pagbabasa ng noli. Yeah, how can you dress wounds with noli metangere, you dumb bitch? Okay, I'll stop being harsh. It's a general subject in college, sis the fuck. And also, good thing they put history in college for people to stop being oblivious. Ang patutunan mo ang buong kasaysa. Okay, whatever, you old... Ah, oh, sorry. Ang mga karakter sa nobela ni Dr. Jose Rizal. The set looks accurate, though they are probably modern pieces in there, but whatever. Ipagpaumanhin mo. Okay, not the bra. Okay, so, I expected at least like any sense of drama. But no, girl. It's fucking comedy all the way. Ugh, continue. Tapa, bitch. I hope to use 19th century Spanish and not some Google Translate bullshit. Wala pa bang bra sa panahon to? Of course, you dumb bitch! The brassier was patented by Mary Phelps Jacob in 1914. At that time in 19th century, people are using corsets not to cinch the waist, I swear to God, but to support the female bust. I found an undergarment used in the 19th century Philippines while I was searching. It's called tapa de pecho, which is a rectangular piece of cloth attached to the inner side, front side of the barrow, which serves as a breast binder or a modesty cover. This is prior to the use of chemise as seen on the scene where Maria Clara wakes up. The attendant at the left must cover her panuelo more. The right side ish but must also be close too. To historical car and carriage enthusiasts, please comment if the vehicles are historically accurate. Sosto mo Ibarra? Ibarra's dress screams modern. Oh my fucking god. Julian San Jose. Her hair is messy as fuck. Oh my god. At Dennis, the house looks okay. Much better than that Minecraft house I made. Please watch that video. But hunger is one of the causes of insanity. Yes. English exists during the Spanish era, though of course, not modern, modern English. I beg your pardon. Okay, bitch, this is where it starts. So, they frame this Cly fucker as a morally right character, like a woke person. I mean, her counter is not wrong. People have modern thinking in the modern world. If someone in this world really gets isekai I'm afraid doing this is letting yourself be beheaded. Not beheaded, but like something bad will happen to you. Bitch, people will talk behind you, especially around these wealthy, learned men. If you want to survive, conform as much as possible, even you don't like it. Kaya naman, prim and proper ang dalaga. These dresses really looking like costumes and not looking like actual attires of the time. Makailang ulit ko na rin binabasa-basa ang iyong mga liham. The letter looks printed as fuck. Like at least hire an actual calligrapher or something. And just because it's a historical movie, all papers look coffee-tinted or whatever. Bitch, we're talking relatively on the timeline. They don't have newly-made papers? Napansin ko lamang na... Yeah! <laughs> Chinese style slay! Nang 
biglang tumating ang modern version na si Klein. Okay, so obviously Barbie's character gets speared with Dennis's because like Maria Clara is getting woke from Barbie and is tired of Ibarra's bullshit and becomes an early Filipino feminist slay. Escuchen todos! Ganito ang ginagawa sa isang mujer suelas! Okay, yes. The reality of life. David Licauco, Bilang Fidel. The fuck? The dresses seems modern. Oh my god. I don't think that's the hairstyle of 19th century Filipino men, though we stand an undercut in this household. That's a bad looking tonsure. Oh my fucking god. Bruh, I have never seen that type of design pattern on men's barrow before. Oh my god. Gilat Sandico, bilang Doña Victorina. Okay, this is some racist shit. Western women don't look like that. Oh my god. Please look at the picture. I know that she's imitating Western culture because she pretentious as fuck. But. Please adhere to historical accuracy. It's like this bullshit over and over again. Kaya wala nang nangyayari sa bayang ito. Dahil sa mga Pilipino kagaya mo na walang pakailam sa totoong istorya ng kasaysayan. Yes! Just like that motherfucking director and his fucky whore. Please read this Tumblr post. Magtuturo sa kahalagahan ng kasaysayan. Oh my god, I feel like this teleserye was made to insult on a specific director and or dancer. Writers, Brian Tabora. Okay, yes, oh my god. Filipinos play harp. On the language used, please read this Tumblr post. So even though they are doing this funny shit, I hope that they are still adhering to the main points and premise of the original text. Yeah, that's all. No conclusion. Have a nice day. Bye!